My guest today has an incredible story to share. Officer Kenneth Knox of the Greenfield Police Department was recently dispatched to a home where two-month-old Bajave Parham was choking. The infant was turning blue and fading fast. Officer Knox sprang into action, and we'll let him pick up the story from there. Officer Knox, thank you so much for joining me today on The Harvest Show. Yes, ma'am, thank you. Okay, so tell me, what happened when you arrived on the scene? Uh, there was a lot of chaos. Uh, the parents were very extremely upset. Uh, when I got out of the car, I asked them what was going on, and the father told me that, please save my baby, she's choking. I ran into the house, and uh, I seen another lady holding the baby, and when I got in there, the baby had done turned blue. Her eyes had glazed over, and I could see that she was limp and not breathing. Uh, we laid her down on the couch, and I turned to the father and asked him what had happened, and he stated that uh, they, while they were feeding the baby cereal, that she started beginning to have difficulty breathing and eventually just couldn't breathe at all. And uh, so I looked in her mouth. I tried to do a, what they call a sweep with your finger, mm -hmm. which doesn't work, and she was so tiny, I was scared to, to do the Heimlich maneuver, and I was, I, was, so I was just so distraught. I didn't know what to do, and the only thing I could think of at that time is, is that... To, to try to suck it out, a, a reverse CPR. I, okay, is I that, that that's what no. I wanted to know. Is that something you had learned, reverse no, CPR? That's, because I had never heard of that before. No, ma'am, it's not a medical term. It's just the only thing I can think of to describe mm -hmm. what I was doing. I mean, you know, normally during CPR, when you do chest compressions, you do breaths in, you breathe into them to try to get their lungs and their heart started again. And I was thinking that if I tried to breathe into the baby, into Miyavi, that it would push whatever was hung in her throat down further and cause more damage. So something just told me to, to, to try to suck it out, which it took me a few minutes. And uh, I, I, once I got the the last time, I sucked it out. And, I, you know, it was so hard, it, it went into my mouth and down my throat. And uh, I looked at her, and she just she got this beautiful, she got this beautiful smile on her face in her. I mean, it mm. makes you very emotional every time yes, you share yeah. this story. I mean, I talked with you off camera, and you told me that you just get so moved by yes, this baby, Mayave, two months yes, old. So you were able, there she is, you were able to save her life. What was that like, that very moment? You said that she smiled at you once just, uh, you, yes, you were able to save her. Talk just about for a her. brief second, uh, she smiled, and then she started screaming. <laughs> and she started <laughs> screaming, and I told the mother, I said that you know that's a good sound, that's music to my ears, that lets me know that she's alive, and she she's letting you know that something's going on. Uh, I, if you ask me to put into words what what that did to me, I, I can't describe that. All I can tell you is that the 25 years that I've been a cop, for everything that I've done and everything that I missed out on in, in my own family's life, that made every minute of it worthwhile to see to see that baby smile again and to know that she can grow up to be anything she wants. And the whole point of that is that she can grow up. She will grow up no matter what. She will grow up to be whatever she wants. And she will always be a part of my life. And now the other day, I was officially asked by the mother and father to be her godfather, oh. which I, I humbly accepted. It's my honor. I mean, there's, there's, there's no doubt about it. She will always be in my life, and I will always watch over her. We are looking at a picture of the Parham family with a beautiful, her sister, her mother, yes. her father, and Mayave. Uh, just beautiful there. I mean, what does this say to you, though? What would you like to say to the rest of our country, considering what's going on between the police and other communities, where there is such uh, up and uproar? Tell us, what would you like to say? I hope this brings some peace. All police aren't bad. Uh, yes, there are some out there. Uh, and I imagine with the scrutiny that, that we're going under right now, that the bad ones will soon be weeded out and that we can get our country back on track. Because, you know, like where I work, uh, I love everybody. And, and most people love me. I mean, you know, not everybody loves me, but most people. And I get along with my whole community. And, you know, I hope that every community can be like it is where I'm at in, in Greenville in Meriwether County, Georgia. Uh, we have not run into that problem down there so far, and I hope we never do. And I can just tell you that with the amount of attention that this has gotten, uh, it's gotten over 54,000 shares. And I have had people call me from 20 
It's either 29 or 32 other countries, priests, uh, heads of state, uh, is tribal tribal leaders have called me and, and, and told me what this has meant to them. I mean, I just I could go on and on about the comments that I've gotten that that have humbled me to the point where I don't even know how to respond. I do respond to everyone. I think if you take enough time to talk to me, then I'm going to take enough time to talk to you back. And it has really, really humbled me. And, I, and everybody tells me what a joy it is and what 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 peace it could bring to our to our country. And I and I hope that's what it does because that's what it's all about. We are. We, we are all in this together. We all live here together. I'm your neighbor. I'm your friend. We eat at the same places. You know, we shop at the same places. So we should be able to live together in the same places in peace and harmony. Well, Officer Knox, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. An incredible story, saving the life of a two-month-old. I guess you'll never be the same, will you? No, ma'am, I will <laughs> not. Uh, I've been decorated nine times, and none of them compare to this right here. None of them. I, I don't even have the words. I'm... I'm I can't put that into words, what this has done to me and to my heart and, and to the love that I have for, for, for Miyavi. She is, she is my precious little angel. She will always be that. Okay, thank you so much. That was Officer Kenneth Knox. Harvest continues in just a moment.